it the alt right. They did it. Hello, man. Hello, MGTOWs. <laughs> As I was searching through uh, videos this morning, I watched a. Uh, armor skeptic video and then I realized as I was watching the horror I realized that uh, the alt-right hate is a new hipster creation <laughs> yes it is a made-up enemy that never fires back and has no validity a safer enemy for weaker people you can pin to your least likable friend your enemy or really anybody it's a multifunctional defense tool that has happy faces and smiley beads. I realized this a little while ago when I kind of rejected the idea when Alex and gang attached himself to this fantasy fiction uh, enemy for pretty much retards, like the skeptic. It's a helmet. So they don't hurt themselves with grown-up thoughts. It's a political retard helmet. And God, whoever made that up is a fucking genius. He was elected president. Uh, we've been watching him and watching what he's been saying in terms of some hateful bullying remarks. Uh, the Hollywood, the Access Hollywood tape showed us Donald Trump. We don't need a staged interview in 60 Minutes with all my respect uh, to Leslie Stahl to learn much more about Donald Trump. And I think what we saw with the Steve Bannon pick tells you much more than anything he said last night while sitting in that grand room. I mean, people have been pussyfooting around this a bit in the coverage since yesterday, but Steve Bannon is an ally of white nationalists. How do we know this? Because Steve Bannon said to one of our reporters, Mother Jones, but elsewhere as well, that he wanted Breitbart, the new service he led, to be a platform for the alt-right. What is the alt-right? A far-right conservative movement it that the does believe right, they did in it. white nationalism and white supremacism. How do we know that? You go to Breitbart and they say the lead ideological figure of the alt-right movement is Richard Spencer, and he quite clearly says he wants non-whites to leave America, and he wants America to be a white state, and that race is what's most important. It's like a new political punching bag for the politically challenged. A helmet to keep them safe. Something that won't fight back. Something that doesn't sling hateful words back. Something that doesn't wound your delicate sensibilities. Hey, thanks, thanks a lot, man.